What's up everyone? Welcome to another C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about um, something called the address operator. And what the address operator is, is it shows you where in your memory um, a variable is stored. So, um, it's just easier just to show you guys, so let's get to it. The first thing we're going to need to do is make a couple variables. <coughs> let's make a couple int variables stands for integer. I'm going to call mine int finger e is equal to 10 since I have 10 fingers. And int eyes is equal to 2 since I have 2 eyes. I don't know why finger is singular and eyes is plural, but that's the way it's going to be. And I'm probably going to mess it up, so just follow along. The next thing we're going to want to do, or the next thing I actually want to show you, is what this is. It, I'll put it on the screen. So let me just output this see out finger and let me end that line and let me see out and anytime you want to get the address of a variable you have to add the ampersand and then type in the variable so for example since finger is the um, variable it's going to have the value of 10 and ampersand finger is the address of where that variable is located in the memory so I'm going to add ampersand finger then go ahead and end that line and let me just show you guys right here um, what this is with eyes too so let's eyes ampersand eyes so right now we're going to output the variable finger and it's going to have the value of 10 and then we're going to output the location and where finger is stored on your memory and this is going to be the hexadecimal location that your computer sees and again we're going to do that with eyes and then we're going to find the location of eyes that your computer sees so if you're thinking uh, if you don't really understand why this is useful or what, what it's going to do you'll understand later when we when we have to build programs and we have to use something called pointers and this is what a pointer actually needs but for now, let's uh, just show you guys what this is. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. And if I compiled it right. There we go. As you can see, the, ving the excuse me finger value of your variable is 10. But the location in your memory it's stored is 0x22ff44. And the variable of eyes, what the user sees is 2. But what the computer sees is 0x22ff40. And just a little side note, this kind of makes sense because in your memory, this is stored 4 bits away. You can tell by 44 and 40. And this makes sense because um, since we're using int as our data type, int always uses 4 bytes of data. So that is why the variables are 4 bits away. So again, that is how you find the address to any variable to find its location in the memory. And if you're asking, all right, Bucky, why the heck would you even want the address at all? Is that just a neat little trick you told me? No, you actually need this. Why? Well, you got to stick around for my next tutorials to find out. So learn how to find the address. You don't really have to learn anything. It's one of the easiest things I taught you guys so far. But just study this tutorial, play around with it a little bit. And once you learn this, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So I'll see you then.